everyone. Carl here, and just just a few minutes after the previous recording, that there was an update regarding that the Kitesboro Airport has been updated, has been revamped. Just, just, it's not really big news for me. Well, it was in the middle of a flight. Alright, so I stick to the same objective, fly this TU-144D to Kitesboro, and that's all. As to repeat, some players would say that this plane cannot reach Kitesboro. In the previous, as if at least the previous version of it, which has a straight runway. So, let's try to prove it wrong, and let's fly this to the newly remodeled airport. It's, uh, it's almost 10%, so let's flatten this out. 13,000 meters into the sky. Then let's switch off at 9%. Then always keep around. Wait for the sonic boom, and there we go. Whoa, that was so fast. So, this rate, uh, this is just... Of course, it's been there since the plane was released or remodeled. Hmm. Let's, uh, you want to turn a little bit to the right? And uh, 400 knots. I may have to take a, a slight right turn when I'm going to land. Okay, let's, uh, let's turn a bit to the left. Then keep level. So, like the Concorde, you can toggle the, the drooping nose with the T key. And the mustache as well. It also closes the mustache and then the, the, no, the drooping nose, which is a. It's used for. for better performance. Now. How long are we from Kitesboro? Hmm. Right. There we go. Alright, 10,000 meters away. We're just descending very slowly. Hmm. Not even in the yellow zone. N81, N81. N81, where is N81? N81, ah, never mind. Where 
781. I didn't know there was already a new business jet out. Well, I wish I would also have one of those. I wish one of those biz more businesses should be released into the game, but. And, oh, here it is. Here's the storm that is. There's, and there's New England town up on the, on the south. Storm cloud is really is is actually going away from Kitesboro in a uh, probably in a southeast direction, and um, we're going to we're going far away from the runway. So let's uh, turn a bit to the left. Okay, just turn a bit to the left, and just away from the storm cloud. At least we must end up touching the runway. So let's turn a bit more to the left. Okay, just holding down the A and equal keys alternatively. All right, just move to the proper angle. All right, it should be perpendicular to the runway line, or a bit more. There we go. Oh, well, I want to see it with my own eyes. And now uh, we're just 8,700 meters away from. And we only have like 10 minutes to go. Okay, 10 minutes to go. So what do you think? All right, we'll just uh, turn a little more. So... Ten meters, it's like six thousand. Would be around like six thousand by now. So, so let's. Uh, there we go. Away, from, just just touching the storm cloud and uh, just into the direction. All right, just to the tip of it. There we go. Now, all right. At least we can uh, make a curve runway to the runway. Ardmore Aerodrome, it's, it's Companion Airport, so it looks like an A350 going to land on this runway from the northwest, right, so 16, all right, let's, uh, oh, what happened to the storm cloud, it, did it just, we're not really passing. We're not, we're going to actually miss this. And we only have eight minutes before we can. Hmm. Oh, I just make it. Oh, I just make it. Forty kilometers away. Hmm. The storm cloud will not affect this plane. All right. So let's 
turn a bit further, just, just to the edge of this cloud, at least we will just, we'll do a hard left on this, so, uh, I want to reach the, uh, thresh the cloud altitude, so, Look at that cloud. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the storm is going to dissipate. We're headed towards lower to the clouds and then Almost 55, 5,700 meters above. I think we can make it. We got a supersonic jet coming. Oh, come on! Le Concorde! Let's see, who's N35R at? Hmm. N35, here it is. Mr. Kuman. And it's our system. Oh, great, he's already... <laughs> I should see him right now. Where is he? He should be around here somewhere. I don't see him. Where's Mr. Coleman? Okay, it's... Like, all right, he should be already at the island. Hmm. hmm. So let's, uh... Let's turn this around a bit. Make it a bit perpendicular to the, uh... Perpendicular to the runway line to ensure a smooth landing. Wow, that was. <laughs> uh, I would not advise <laughs> flying so low in a supersonic aircraft like the Concorde with the afterburners below altitude. <laughs> Why is that supposed to be a thing? Hmm. And no uh, to the Concorde. Oh. 16 times, the Concorde just make sure it doesn't crash, it shouldn't crash. Let's ask him a question. And I can see Kitesboro Island. And it's and it's little brother. <laughs> all right, it's a good time to land. So around two thousand meters or um, or less, I will be starting my engine just to prepare for the proper landing procedure. And uh, we'll take a sharp left. But before that, we'll have to lower the nose and good luck. Gospody.
cloud cover. But we'll surely make it. Oh, did he answer my question? What, airships already in this game? Uh, shouldn't be. Oh, no, it's oh, it's not a Concorde. It's a fighter on afterburners. So. All right, once the cloud cover has been cleared, we'll be able to land. All right. So I can see, oh my goodness, that's too high. So we'll just have to uh, turn this a bit around as we cross the runway, then lower the drooping nose. All right, that's not enough. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's, uh, let's turn a bit to the right, and uh, if we do that, we will, we will have to, uh, we will have to, st uh, we'll have to make sure, oops, oh no, stalling, okay, I think that's not good enough, let's just turn around, and uh, after that, we will be, I, I don't like stalling. Oh, this is, oh, this is, oh, this is ridiculous. Let's just make a manual sharp turn, and then uh, we'll just make a sharp turn, and okay, we'll, oh, goodness me, I just took a risk. I just took a risk. Now, let's lower the nose, and, hmm. Hmm. All right, there we go. There we go. We'll be, uh, all right. We're about to land. So, we're just gonna go to this, uh, intended altitude. Then, once around this time, so let's, uh, open the gears and, uh, Let's. Hmm. I shouldn't do that again. It's a bad stalling. All right. Remind me not to do this kind of turn again. Now, let's. Uh, oops. It looks like we're going to stop. So. Right. Let's turn on the engine and uh, let's start landing. So, okay, bad angle, but let's... Come in. Come in. Come in. So let's uh, go back to 1% now. Right, then we'll have a safe landing at this angle. Oh, there's a plane taking off. All right, let's, uh, okay, all right, all right, increase speed, please, increase, then lower, oh, oh, all right, one percent, oh, out. So we'll uh, right. Let's, uh, uh, hmm. Wow. Great remodel. They remodeled off the place very nice. Hmm. Oh, there's the fuel. Stop. There we go. So let's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> All 
Right. There we go. This is Kitesboro International Airport. And it's uh, remodeled very artistically. Hmm. Look at the mountains. And it's uh, really well made. Hmm, interesting. But there's only one runway. There should be at least, for an airport like this, there should be like at least two. Hmm. So let's uh, throw it to 1%, and then we'll. We'll park on this fuel. Steepo? Mm -hmm. mm. All right, there we are. So we'll just have to take a break, take a break, and there we go. We successfully landed at Kaisbar International Airport on the longest transport route. Despite there's no job for this plane that can only go through New England town, Clarence, whatever, but. At least we made it. And just I just and it just proves that it can this plane can reach Heisboro. And then it's like the maximum range is around two hundred kilometers. So I think that I think the database was correct that it can its maximum range is higher than that. So let's take a good view on this airport here, just before we can go. So, <laughs> nice screenshot. Nice screenshot. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let's take a let's take a screen. Hmm. Let's see a good angle on this. How about that? Right. So we got a terminal one A. It's probably the international flights, I think. There's a there's a terminal one B. Mm -hmm. And then there's a terminal two, that's for the smaller planes, probably. Terminal three. I think that's Terminal 3 is for the those very large planes. <laughs> Let's look at these jet bridges. So, that's, and then there should be... And this, I think that's it. Not bad for an airport model. Or models. It's a very industrialized city. It's a lot of suburban areas. And now there's a bridge leading to Ardmore. So All right. We made it to Kitesboro and uh see you on the next video. Ah. <laughs>